Hello, welcome to the Magnet Pouch product. We're going to do a quick demonstration on how to run this product. First, you need a pouch laminator. You want to make sure it's fully preheated prior to running a magnet pouch. So with our product, we have a film laminate on the face and a magnetic backing. You take your sheet and you insert it between the layers of the pouch. And you want to make sure that the sheet goes all the way up to the front seal. You place this into the provided carrier, and then you simply run it through the pouch laminator. Now this machine is the most economical pouch laminator there is, and on some of these that you can't adjust the heat, you might actually have to run the pouch through two times. You want to be sure that the heat gets all the way through to the center of the piece to uh, ensure good bonding of the layers. Now for this extremely economical machine, I'm actually going to pass it through the second time not using a carrier. And that's going to allow everything to completely seal. On machines with adjustable heat, you have to play around to determine which heat is best for the pouch product. And also the thicker the paper, generally you're going to have to run it a little hotter and perhaps a little slower. So after the second pass through, everything will be bound together, laminated well and you'll have a beautiful finished refrigerator magnet. It's also a good idea, after you've run the product through, to lay it on a good flat cool surface and uh, let it cool there, and then your magnet's gonna be perfectly flat. And you can trim this out with scissors, you can trim it on a paper trimmer, you can trim it automatically in lifts, and it's a very economical and very fast way to make quality refrigerator magnets. So I'm going to lay that right on there, a good granite top, and allow it to cool, and you'll have great product. Thanks for watching.